what p part of the focusing modality is peculiar to me or what part of it was awakened my own consciousness um, that I bring actually bring to focusing that focusing uh, at least on the explicit level didn't concern itself with and that's called spontaneous inner or inner directed movement that is spontaneous so that when somebody is in a, a process being with something of themselves we explore the possibility that the the suffering of that or the endurance of that it introduces a sense of movement which creates a safety because it's the fear is always being stuck in something something's overwhelming but if there's a movement element in that at least they can pay attention to that quality of movement but it isn't just any kind of movement it seems to come from the deeper levels of our wisdom that has a mind of its own and that's the big piece that, of the learning that this uh, program one of the basic elements of, of this program is this the capacity to allow movement to happen because that's what we can pay attention to as something in us is moving us forward in our lives and changing the the um, the integration or the the new thing um, in a way that feels non-threatening having said that uh, the the big shift in this is can I let go of control? Can I let um, something in me move me in a way beyond my experience that's even better than the, what, the, what I could do for myself? And that came as an inspiration out of my Alexander world, actually, because I, I couldn't do that then until suddenly I could do everything that Alexander would hope would happen I realized I have it inside myself. I know how to do that. I just didn't know how to access that. So there, there's a deep wisdom in us that we talk about and we have faith about or we pray about all that. We t uh, but what is remarkable is we engage it. We enter into an engagement where we ask it to give us a physical experience of ourselves. And then we wait and we watch and we allow it to unfold. And we learn so much from that because we cross that barrier of our edge of control to letting go in a healthy kind of way. There are many different kinds of movements and disciplines of movements about allowing spontaneous interdirected movement where focusing comes in that's different than any other kinds of movements is that we bring up the meaning and the purpose of those movements. Movements can happen, but we don't know why they're happening, or it can be vague. But with focusing, this, uh, this deeper wisdom that acts in that way, in a spontaneous way, in purposeful way, all of that, we can access why it's doing that, where it's going, and, and uh, let it have a conversation with us. So we become more conscious of the part of us that has become conscious, wants to move forward because it needs to from a, a well-being or a balance or an integration point of view. We access the why of that and the purposefulness. So we allow that aspect to come to the story of our lives in a way we don't normally in body-based exercises or practices. That's a key element here of what focusing brings to these body-based practices. There's a video now that uh, you'll probably receive, if you haven't already, about the celebration over the last 10 years. And it really touched me very deeply because you sense the atmosphere of the, over that period of 10 years, we create a certain environment.
we don't know how we do that, but we come together. And there is a way of being for a week that is truly heartfelt. It's not manufactured, it's not taught, but it just happens. And I think that's why I keep coming back, because it's the kind of community building that we all search for, and I certainly do, and I would want to um, support. So I return to it, and each year I'm not disappointed. It happens year in and year out. And then I look over the 10 years, and many of the teachers are still there. And I know that our own lives have grown immensely over that period of time. So we too have been gifted and move forward over that period of time. But it's the joy of life. It's the, the joy of community. It's the kind of heartfelt receptivity of themselves and other people. Yeah, and I want to say that again. It's about just being me, and I'm open to enjoy you being you. That's quite a different kind of community that I certainly grew up with.